Hello guys, it's me Carlos Santos, aka LR742, and I'm doing a new version, I mean a new game, which is called F1 2019. It's another motorsports discipline that I have little kind of an interest, but I don't watch it as much on TV from where I live in the United States. So, so this one is the, I forgot what mode this is, but I think it's the uh, Hot Pursuit Challenge, like, like I have to run a certain lap time and gotta like pace myself to like do it before the checkpoints are up, so. What I see here, got a good Henry car, and oh, let's, let's uh, fast forward to one of my F1 races for Alfa Romeo Racing, so I'll do that right now. So, like I was saying, the timestamp is 4 minutes and 9 seconds, so I forgot to tell you where the, I would say, where to skip the video clips, including the invitational challenges. So, so this is really on easy mode. Because I haven't played an F1 game in a while on Xbox, so the last time that happened was F1 2011. But I did a little bit of F1 2013, so but I didn't do any races. So, so really, I'm just cruising around, just, I'm finding my time. So I really, I don't know what to say, but 
Alpha Romeo is using mid pack and the teammates of Kimi Raikkonen and then Antonio somebody. I forgot his last name, but yeah, I kicked him out of the round. So. Yeah, I really had to practice uh, hitting my marks at all the racetracks that I've dri driven on for a few F1 seasons. So. Some of the tracks that I've raced on before, like Grand Autosport and Forza Motorsport the most the most Series, those games really helped me in the F1 games. So I didn't struggle in most of them so it kind of helped me adjust it to F1 life so but I may not get an F1 game next year because the Xbox Series X is really expensive probably like $500 mm -hmm. to get a, a game of your own so no $500 for the console but most of the games will be around $60 if you get the standard version of the F1 game or any kind of more sports game. So I'll fast forward to, I think it's Abu Dhabi. So the timestamp may be like around 9 to 10 minutes. So check back here again. A great win then for the Alfa Romeo team. Looks like they're on the way out to the podium now. And oh, what a result this is. And a popular...
looks like they're on their way out to the podium now. And what a result this is. And a popular one with the crowd as well. Great stuff to see the Alfa Romeo team on top here today. So we're back to F1 2019 gameplay, career mode, so, so as you know there are two fictional drivers in that 2019, and they're Lucas Weber and a guy named Butler, <laughs> oh well, Lucas Weber and blah 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 blah. <laughs> I can't remember the name. first name, but I know the last name. Devin Butler. That's the same. See, it didn't take me that long to understand the summary of the game or all the fun facts of it. <sighs> I know I have a big lead, but usually the ERS is usually harvested. After like two to three laps, then I have to run a conservative pace. So, yeah. I really have to slow it down a bit. So, I really pushed it too hard. And, like, you know that in NASCAR, you don't have these kind of tools that F1 has. Except when you're in your super speed rate, all you have is the draft or the slipstream maneuver so this was my timeline of how I started first I signed an agreement with Mercedes got kicked out after four races then I got this ride from for Alfa Romeo Racing this is Heather Saber, and then, and then once I got the championship, I moved on to Tor Scuderia, Tor Rosa, for the sec for the fir first full season, and my second career season. <laughs> I can't talk today, man. What do I have to do to get you guys viewing my videos more? Like, no mumbling and stuff? <laughs> okay, off topic. So, once I finished my season with Torosa, I went back to, I think, Mercedes Benz. AMG Patronas Mercedes Benz. Yeah, I had to say the whole name of the team, the full name of the team, because I might get quizzed on it, and F1 drivers may think, oh, that guy's crazy, he doesn't know anything about his team, so. See, here I come to the last corner of the last turn, and I'm going to win my championship for F1 2019. And then I do my burnouts. So I'll. I have to mute out.
Nice job this season. You've been performing well, and that's putting us in a strong negotiating position contract-wise. Plus, my 10% is getting more valuable. So enjoy your break, and keep up the good work next year. Fantastic podium. Well done. Keep pushing like this for the rest of the season. From here, we can change the team that we're negotiating with. There's no rule saying you need to stay in the same seat forever. Selecting a team here only affects the negotiation. The actual move won't take place until the following race weekend. So I'm making Larson 42, Carlos Santos, and I'll see you in, mm, I think in okay. May, because I'm really busy in school and I have three classes which are public speaking, oral history, and an IT course, so I don't want to stress myself and do Xbox all the time, so that's all I have for me to say about my review of F1 2019, so talk to you guys later. Bye.